I want to take you on a journey deep underground and teach you the secret behind the greatest card trick in the world. This trick is so simple, anyone can do it. Yet so devious, it fools even the most skeptical of spectators. This is the exact card trick that inspired me to become a magician when it was performed on YouTube over 10 years ago. I hope that it inspires some of you to also learn and master the art of deception. The magician has a deck of cards. He allows the spectator to reach in and freely choose any card that they like. In this case, the spectator has chosen the Four of Spades. This is put to the side so the magician can deal down small packets of cards onto the table. He tells the spectator to say stop whenever he likes. The spectator says stop, and the card is then returned to that exact position. Everything is clean and fair. The magician then cuts the deck and waves his hand over it. He then spreads out the cards and amazingly, there's one red card in the deck. However, this is not just any old red card. It's the spectator's four of spades. The magician puts the red four of spades to the side and he says he's going to show the spectator again. He shuffles the cards multiple times to make things even more random. The cards are cut like before and the spectator was a free choice of any card. This time he's chosen the 10 of diamonds. The card is returned and the magician waves his hand over the deck saying that a red card will appear. He spreads out the cards, but there is no red card. So the magician cuts the cards, waves his hand over them, and spreads them out again. But there is still no red card. The magician then points to the red four of spades from earlier, picks it up, and it is magically changed into the spectator's 10 of diamonds. This is a devilishly simple trick that just requires two of the same card. However, one of the cards needs to have a different color back from the same deck. Place both of these cards onto the bottom of the deck with the red card at the very bottom. Now let your spectator choose any card that they like, being careful not to flash the red card at the bottom of the deck. Deal off small piles from the top of the deck and let the spectator put their card back on top of the pile on the table. Notice how this places the red 10 of diamonds directly on top of their card. Wave your hand over the deck and then spread out the cards. Point to the red card and then split the deck into two piles. It is important that the pile with the red card goes on top of the other pile as shown. You now have one ten of diamonds on the bottom and on the top of the deck. The second card from the top is the spectator's selection. Do a double lift and this will look as if the six of clubs is the only red card. Do this by riffling up the back of the deck with your thumb until you get a break under the top two cards then just turn them both over as shown. Place what they think is the red six of clubs on the table, when in reality, it's the 10 of diamonds. Now you need to force the 10 of diamonds from the bottom of the deck onto the spectator. In the performance, I controlled the card to the top of the deck and then did a classic force, but an easier way to do this is to hold the deck in this position between your middle finger and thumb, then come over with your other middle finger and thumb and peel off packets of cards in your hand. It will look as if you're shuffling the cards, but the 10 of diamonds always stays on the bottom. Now just ask your spectator to say stop, and whenever they say stop, show them the 10 of diamonds as their chosen card. This is called the Hindu force. I like using this force, but use any force that you like. Now say you're going to do the trick again. Spread out the cards and show that there's no red card. 
try this again, and just when your spectator thinks you've got it wrong, turn over the red card and show that it's their 10 of diamonds. This magic trick was published onto YouTube over 10 years ago, and it's the first trick I ever learnt. I hope it inspires some of you to also learn and master the art of deception. If you are interested in learning incredible card tricks including flourishes, cuts, shuffles and more, and tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube, then check out my magic card course in the first link in the description below. The course contains some of the best tricks ever created and will give you the ability to walk into a room and impress anybody that you like. So go and check out Card Magic Pro in the first link in the description.